much uh, the name. I know uh, you know the name very well. Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the Temple Mount Sifting Project. Basically, you came here to work. Okay, get dirty, uh, yeah. get dust on your hands. Uh, what we do here, what you're going to do in a few minutes, uh, is sift material that was taken from the Temple Mount about nine years ago. What's so funny about that? It was taken illegally outside of the Temple Mount, dumped, and what we do here is try to salvage material from it. Okay, this is archaeological work, but not uh, traditional, uh, typical archaeological work. And what is it all about? So, uh, let's begin. What, what do you know about the Temple Mount? It's over there. <laughs> Excellent. That's always know where you are. That's I was taught that in the Armand right now. Huh? <coughs> Muslims have control over it now. Why isn't it a part of Jerusalem, Israeli sovereignty? Gave it back. Okay. Uh, what else? What do you know? What's the big deal? Okay, so. There's Jewish artifacts underneath it. Sorry? Why should there be Jewish artifacts on the Temple Mount? Because it's where the Temple was. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, Temple Mount means there used to be. What? There used to be a temple what? on it. Just one temple? Two. Two temples. First temple, second temple. Okay, what else do you know about traditions about the Temple Mount? Well, they built the dome on top. Okay, that's okay. okay, that's not tradition, that's reality. You see it? Uh, that's, where they, that's where they have control over it. Okay, but traditions, why is it so important? First temple, second temple? Huh? Okay, first and second temple, Kodesh Kodashim, Holy of Holies, was there. Uh, what else? What do you know? Before, like, before there was a temple. Like Akedat Yitz was... Aha, Akedat Yitzchak. You know, the binding of Isaac, Akedat Yitzchak, Mount Moriah, Hala Moriah. Uh, Jewish tradition shows it on the Temple Mount. What else? There's one thing that happened even before Abraham creation and Yitzchak. Aha. Uh -huh. The creation, the creation of the world. In Hebrew, we call... This is the Dome of the Rock because, because it shades a gigantic rock, which is the summit of Mount Moriah. In Hebrew, we call it Evin Hashtia, the foundation stone of the earth. Okay, so Jewish tradition shows the place as uh, the place of creation. In the beginning, God created the earth and sky. That's where it all began. This is also why it's the center of the earth. Uh, there are, you know, numerous uh, legends and traditions. Adam's soil to create Adam was taken from there. We're not going to get to, into all of that, but creation... Binding of Isaac, Akedat Yitzchak, uh, first temple, second temple. Now, if we look at this uh, aerial picture, uh, do you see the mountain? No. Where's the mountain? You see a gigantic platform. Where's the mountain? The mountain is underneath. Uh, if what I say, you already know, uh, we're going to run over it. No. Uh, this is the mountain, okay? On top of it is the rock, okay, foundation rock of the earth. Now when King Solomon comes to this place, it was already bought by his father, King David, okay, and he wants to build the temple. Can he build a gigantic monument monumental building? No, it's a mountain, and if you open the Book of Kings, uh, the temple isn't that big. First temple. Uh, the dimensions are, uh, this is a cubit, about 60 cubits over 20 cubits over 15 cubits. Uh, 60 cubits is about, you work with feet, right? 60 cubits is about 100 feet, okay? That's the length of the temple. It's not very much, right? But it's a very important building. Why is it so important or what makes it so magnificent? What is it built from? I heard you began your trip way up in the, in the north. Uh, huh? Cedar, huh? I, have I heard, right? Cedar trees, cedars of Lebanon, okay? Solomon brings cedars of Lebanon, precious stones, uh, two gigantic pillars of copper, a magnificent building, although it's not very big. And what's in the most important place? The building? Arona Kodesh, Arona Brit, the Ark of the Covenant. Have you seen uh, Indiana Jones? Yeah. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Same Ark, okay? 
Uh, what's in it? Huh? Luchot Abrit, the tablets of the law, Luchot Abrit, the Ten Commandments. That's in the Holy of Holies, the staff of Aaron, a cup with a uh, mane. Okay, you know the mane? What the children of Israel ate 40 years in the desert. Okay, that's in the Holy of Holies. Who's allowed to enter the Holy of Holies? Kohen Gadol. The Kohanim, every, all the Kohanim? Only Kohen Gadol. Only the high priest, the Kohen Gadol. Once a year on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Okay. What happens to uh, the first temple? It's destroyed. It's destroyed by whom? Babylonians. Babylonians. The year, if you insist, is... Okay, that's BC, that's the minus. Uh, Babylonians. What date was it? Tisha B'Av. the ninth day of uh, the Jewish month of Av. Uh, the Jewish people go to exile to Babylon. On the, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and cried. That's the song, <laughs> Bonnie M. Uh, remembering Zion, Zion, okay? Uh, about 70 years later, Babylonian Empire falls, Persian Empire rises. That's in the news today, Persians and... Uh, never mind. Uh, King Cyrus allows the Jews to come back to Zion, Shivat Zion, the return to Zion, and build... Second, second temple, temple, second temple, bigger or smaller? Bigger. bigger. Bigger, much bigger. We all know this picture of second temple, but actually the beginning was quite modest. They got the permission, but not everybody came. Only the very, very brave, only the very, very religious, pious, enthusiastic came. They didn't have money. All the money was left in Babylon. Second temple in its beginning is quite small. The old people that uh, as kids saw the first temple, saw it burn, went to exile and came back. When it's uh, inaugurated, dedicated, they weep. There's nothing to compare. They remember the grandeur of Solomon's temple. Well, they were kids. And they see there's nothing to compare. The prophet, Haggai, tells them, don't worry, it's going to be fine. You see that this temple is going to be much bigger than the first temple. Okay, uh, more and more Jews come. They bring with them money. You know, each Jewish male every year has had to give half a silver shekel contribution to the temple. So they get money and people give more than that. You know, you have uh, in universities and hospitals, you have these plates. Uh, Goldstein gave so and so and you know these plates, right? So same was at that time. The temple becomes bigger. The mountain doesn't have a place to contain it. So what do they do? They make a kind of a platform over here and the temple grows and becomes richer. And this is about the time, we're talking now about second uh, century BC. That's about the time when the Greeks covet this place. They come, they desecrate it, they sacrifice, yeah, dust, it's Jerusalem dust. They sacrifice impure animals. What uh, holiday do we celebrate each year? Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the uh, victory of the Maccabees of Matityahu, Metatias, Judas Maccabeus over the Greeks. This is about this time. Now you know the descendants of the Maccabees became a line of uh, a dynasty of kings, the Hashmonians, which was kind of not normal according to Torah laws because they were both kings and Kohanim, priests. But then comes a new empire, the Romans, they put them aside and they bring their own puppet king who is a Jew, but Herod. everybody hates him. What's his name? Herod. Herod. Okay, King Herod. He's also called King Herod the Great. Why is he called Great? Was he so great? He built. He built a lot of things. Have you been to Masada? No. Yeah. Uh, Caesarea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Banias. Yeah. Herodium. No. Sebastia. No. Alexandria. No. Antiochia. Roads, everywhere he built. He loved building. So why do we hate him if he built so much? Well, he was a Roman puppet king. What else? Why, why does everybody hate him? We love hating him. Why? Huh? Well, basically, 
who was yeah, paranoid. Was, I remember in your class. Who, who did he kill? His, his, uh, his family. <coughs> he killed like his family. Who didn't he kill? He killed everybody. He killed his beloved wife Miriam. He killed his sons. Uh, he killed uh, many of Chazal, the wise elders. He killed.